If you guys are in the market for one of these Baker style scaffolding sets like this Metal Tech version that we have over here today, I'm gonna walk through some of the features and the capabilities of this model. I'll briefly talk about the assembly. Then I'll also get into a side-by-side -side comparisons where I might put some crossbars on the bottom for some extra support. I have saw different reviews on various Baker style scaffolding sets like this where people claim that gives it a little bit better stability. I've personally never done this. I've had this version here for about a year. I've used it probably 10 times in that year. I really have never had any stability problems. However, I wanna see if we do a side-by-side -side comparison of using it as is, first putting some of those cross supports if it gives us any additional benefit from stability standpoint. The model number that we have here is CISC, and this one retails roughly around 280. It's on sale particularly around December, January timeframe every year around 140 for the one level. You obviously can go up to the two and the three stories. However, you need to make sure when you get to the second and third that you have those outriggers all installed on the outside there, as you can see I have here. If you're just doing the single level, those aren't required. So when you're just getting the one story, you'll get the setup here without the outriggers on the bottom. They do also make various attachments and I'll get into those leveling legs over there in a little bit, but there are some other things that you can use as well in order to level these depending on if you're going upstairs, et cetera there. I've done a couple projects where you can actually stagger these up a stairs so you can get your entire stairwell covered if you're working on the ceiling or et cetera there. So they are pretty handy in that standpoint. However, you will need some leveling legs or something typically in order to get things level. Some of the features on this one here now, there is one other model that's very similar to this, and this is the model CISCHI, and that's their safe climb version. The biggest difference on that one is it has an anti-slip deck, it has anti-slip over here, then it also has the trap door in the middle. Out of all those options, to me, the biggest one that I like on that version is that trap door, and I'll explain that here in a minute when I show you in the demo, but when you're walking up these, it's not as bad on the first story, but if you get the second and third, you're gonna walk up the stairs, then you have to dangle on the side to get up on your platform versus that trap version, you can come up from underneath there and it's just safer to go up the inside of this and not dangle on the outside to get on your platforms. So that is probably the biggest difference between this model and that trap door version. If they're roughly around the same price, I will go with that other model all day long. However, this model here is the one that's always on sale. So if it's on sale, this thing is really hard to beat. In regard to the weight of the single level, it's gonna come in at roughly 127 pounds. And this is constructed of 1.5 inch steel tubes that are 16 gauge, and it also has a nice powder coating finish. You will have some of it chip off over time because you know as you assemble and disassemble this thing, it's gonna get chipped up, but it's held up decently pretty well for me for the last year. Some of the dimensions, the platform is gonna go six feet over there, our height is gonna be 6.25 feet, then our depth is gonna be 2.5 feet. It has a reach from the second level and the third level, and I'll show you a chart there on the screen where if you have the second level, it'll go all the way up to 7.5 feet for your reach. If you have the third story, you're gonna have a reach of roughly around 24 feet. Now, very important, when you get up to the second level, you must have those 14 inch outriggers there installed. When you get to the third level, they even make a bigger outrigger that comes out a little bit farther. You need to make sure you have those. The thing I like about those outriggers, it really provides a lot of stability. Now, there's always gonna be a little bit of movement in all these Baker style scaffoldings. Every single one of them move like that, some worse than others. But when you get up to that second and third, when you have those outriggers, they really do provide a little bit better stability as well. Then the last thing in regard to some of the specs on this, the weight limit on each one of these levels, this first level is gonna come in at 1,000 pounds, the second is 932 pounds, then the third is 818 pounds. And that factors in equipment and people. So you need to make sure, depending on the story, that you have the correct weight limit per story. In regard to the assembly on this, if you've never assembled one of these, I'll briefly talk about what you need to do. Essentially, you're gonna get these two bars on the side here, which will be your stairwell, you're gonna get your platform, then you're gonna get some cross supports, then you're also gonna get these caster wheels down here. To get these installed, all you're gonna do is simply thread this wheel up into here, then install this. Now, I do have the outrigger on here, so if you're not on the second or third, you don't need to worry about that. But essentially, you're just putting the wheel in this, then attaching this pin, and you're gonna do that for all four corners. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna install these two cross supports on both sides, and you're gonna need a helper for this step because you need to hold this bar here, then you can attach these on both sides. 
There's various different notches in here that you can attach. When you find out which one you want, you're simply just gonna pull this out. It'll snap into the holes. Then you'll also put your safety clip on here. You just wanna make sure when you go to the other side that you put it at the exact same height and the same notch over there. And you're gonna connect it over there and you're gonna do all four corners. Then you'll have both of the cross supports installed. Moving on to the platform, to get this installed up here, you're gonna notice a couple notches on both sides. There's a corresponding hole that's on our platform that will help line this up. So you wanna make sure you get that hole in both of those notches on both sides. Then the last thing, take our safety brace here and we're gonna rotate it over here so it's on top of the platform. And you got another one over there on the other side. And the idea on that is it's just gonna keep our platform in place. Then if you wanna install additional storage, all you need to do is just install them over here and there's just a little bar here and I'll give you some pictures of what's in here. Then you're just gonna thread this on top of there on all four corners and start building it up just the same way we did here. And as I mentioned there before, before you do that, make sure you have your outriggers installed down there. Again, 14 inches for the second story and there's an even larger one for the third story. All right, so now you can see we have our second story also installed there. But one important thing I wanna talk about here real quick, there's an additional attachment that you can buy from Metal Tech it's the guardrail and that will go around the top. It's just a little bit better protection when you get into that second and especially the third level. You can obviously put it on the first, but once you get up in those higher levels, I really recommend getting that guardrail because it makes you feel a lot safer up there. As you can see in the scenario here with our vaulted ceiling, we don't have enough room up there to install it because of the restrictions of the height of the ceiling. But if you do have an area where you can use that, I highly recommend getting that additional attachment specifically for the second and third stories. Then one other accessory you might want to think about are these leveling legs. Now, very important, there's a lot of confusion out there, negative reviews on some of these legs. They say this is a 12 inch leveling leg and it goes all the way up to 12 inch. However, there's a cutout right here in the threads that it will not allow that to go up any farther. And it's a safety feature, right? Because you don't want to be extended all the way up and have this thing tip over one way or the other. So one important call out here to make sure you understand is the max height that you're gonna be able to adjust this is gonna be roughly six inches because your bar over there on the side of your scaffolding is gonna sit right here and this is how you raise and lower it. So just keep that in mind. This is a 12 inch leveling leg. However, you only get the six inch capacity to raise and lower that. With that said, in most scenarios, stairs, or if you're outdoors and you're trying to level something, there's other things that you can do in regard to leveling something specifically outside. You might need a little bit more room. Just put a, a cinder block or, or a wood base underneath it and you can prop it up a little bit more if you have to. Uh, but other than that, I've used these a handful of times on stairs and they really do help get a level platform depending on which side you need to level it. You can still use some of the wheel casters on some of the stairs, but a lot of times these are just a little bit safer. And also in regard to those wheels, this thing does move around very, very easily for a second story. As you can see, when I have the casters unlocked, I can move this, or this whole setup, this two-story setup around very easily with one arm. Then whenever you get it to where you want, just simply lock down all your casters on all of your wheels, then it will not move. In our demo here today, I kind of struggle thinking of what I could do in a demo here because this is kind of one of those no thrills type of product where it's heavy duty, it's a nice scaffolding set. However, I have saw different reviews on various Baker style scaffolding sets like this where people claim if you put some cross supports on the bottom, it provides a lot better stability. I'm gonna try to do a side-by-side -side comparison of walking up and down this thing and across it, you know, with and without that to kind of see if those are something that you might wanna do. I personally never had the need to do that. These are gonna move a little bit. I think you just have to expect that. However, let's see if there's any difference of a side-by-side -side comparison of having the braces on one versus the other. All right, so one of my final thoughts on these additional braces that we add here, 
I'll be honest, I really didn't feel that big of a difference walking up and down this thing with or without these braces. Obviously, these are some temporary two by fours. Maybe I could have attached them in the middle as well. Maybe it would have done a little bit more stability. I don't know. I'll let you be the judge on whether or not you want to waste the time with these. Obviously, if you're going to use these, probably want to get a steel tube and maybe weld a bracket on the end and then attach it on the four corners with some bolts. But with that said, I really don't see the need of these. And honestly, in the last year, the handful of times I've used this, I've never used any of these braces. And going forward, I really have no intention to think I need these braces either. But uh, you know, again, I'll let you be the judge of that. All right, so to wrap things up here, I'm sure if you're in the market for one of these, you've seen there's various different brands of these out there. The reason I chose this Metal Tech version, the first is I use some of their other products in the past, specifically their drywall hoist, where you can hoist up drywall panels on the ceilings or on the walls, etc. there. I've used that thing for many years and it still works great to this day. So that's probably the first reason I've used some of their products. I really like them. The second is this company has all kinds of different options. It doesn't matter if it's the leveling legs, they have different attachments that'll go off on the side where you can hold things. They have the guardrails, etc. there. There's just a lot of different options that they have. And not to mention, they're compatible with other brands. So if you see any Werner attachments or Buffalo attachments, etc. there, you can buy their attachments and they're 100% compatible with this and vice versa there. So you have many options in regard to the accessories. You're not really dependent on one brand having all the accessories. You can use other brands as well. Depending on the price, you may get one versus the other. So that is a very good thing uh, you know, that I like about this as well. And also, they make replacement parts for all of this. So you can get in a replacement you know, platform because obviously those are gonna wear out over time. And for sure, if you've never used these before, that's plywood there. You don't wanna leave this thing outside. If it gets wet one time, that thing's gonna start delaminating, et cetera there. So that's just something to keep in mind, but you have replacement parts readily available for all of this stuff. So that's a very important thing. If you're getting one of these, you don't wanna invest in this big thing here that costs a decent amount of money when you add all these attachments, if you can't replace different portions of that, if they go bad. Then the last comment I'll leave you here with, if you're looking into getting the multiple stories and the different outriggers, et cetera there, there are some kits that bundle all of that together and you can get those for a little bit cheaper than buying these individually. However, if you're looking for the ones that are on sale, it's always these individual sets and you just have to buy a couple of them and buy some of your attachments. But if you're buying these full price and you need all this, you might wanna look into those kits because you will be able to get the kit a lot cheaper than buying all these individual accessories separate. So hopefully this helped you out. If you guys are in the market, get one of these Baker style scaffolding sets. If it did, please give me the thumbs up. If you're interested in more content like this, please hit that subscribe. But again, I hope this helped you out. Thanks for watching.